All right, guys, uh, this one's a wrap. Uh, I'm gonna hurry, uh, rush back to the shop, pick up my service truck, drop this truck off, pick up my service uh, truck, and uh, get on some calls. So this is the old one that came on the roof. This is gonna be the second install for this crew uh, today. Our other crane will be there today to crane this one up. So it'll free me up um, to go get on some calls. So stay tuned. All right guys, here on another no cool call. It's gonna be a commercial building. Took a little bit to uh, find keys for the access ladder here to the roof. So we're gonna have to go up there. Come on, Chris. All right. We're up here. Um, it's gonna be, my unit's gonna be the far right. Uh oh. See, I try not to look. Uh oh. I try not to look at other units because then I want to fix everything. So I gotta stay focused. Oh, wait a minute. I just seen something. Dang. What? Dang. Guys, you guys can do stuff like this. Just have your sheet metal guy make you a transition. That's kind of... That's kind of of a hack job there but anyway our units over here let's let's focus on what we came for here all right this one is the bad boy here now they're complaining nothing's coming on so let's take a look here like we're missing a leg up here so I don't got the proper voltage All right, guys, looks like we got a bad fuse. It's a little burnt up there. Um, I'm also gonna check the capacitor, make sure the capacitor is no capacitor to the compressor. It might be low. That's what might be uh, causing the fuse to pop. We're gonna go replace the fuses. Now, you guys all know if one fuse popped uh, in, or it's weak, you should replace all of them. Just don't do one. So, this is gonna, so we're gonna send Chris here behind the camera all the way down across the parking lot to go get our fuse box. Here, Chris, uh, want to go get... They want to go get the fuses. Meanwhile, we're going to check out the capacitor here. Try to do it one-handed. All right, guys, so we're checking this capacitor out. This is going to be a 60 plus 5. Getting a reading of 55.7. So I'm going to go ahead and replace replace this i'm getting from common to herm now we're gonna check from common to fan and that side's okay so i'm gonna replace that oh wow here comes lightning chris look at that what a guy he brought the water jug too smart guy all right guys i got a little ahead of myself here this is a three-phase disconnect. However, since we got a dual capacitor, obviously this is gonna be a single phase. 
So it is going to be running on 208 uh, single phase. Um, hence why we have a capacitor. For those out there that don't know, three phase um, package units won't have a capacitor. They might have a capacitor for the condenser fan motor if it's not an ECM. Um, so since I do have a, a, a dual capacitor, this is going to be single phase. Uh, so just a heads up out there, guys. Didn't want to confuse you guys. So I do have a low cap. We're going to replace that. We're going to replace the two fuses for the two legs that are being used. Um, and so hopefully this bad boy will fire right up. All right, guys, hold it. Let me put my meter to max. That way, if this compressor, I went ahead and put a hard start on there because our compressor is not wanting to come on. It thermally locked out. Um, I used my water jug. I had to sacrifice a little cold water to cool it down a little bit. And I'm going to see what kind of... All right, guys, we're going to take this off, right? Take this off. Get in here. We still a compressor. It's still not coming on, so we're gonna check the windings on the compressor. On my compressor, um, it's giving me lock rotor amps. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull all my parts back off put the original parts back on uh, This unit's done Got look rotor amps on the compressor older units and old ICP uh, It's not worth changing out the compressor. It's just not worth it. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, dump this unit uh, talk to the customer explain to them the situation and This is gonna be a five ton unit So give them a bid replace this 510 unit and we can get our install team back out here probably back out here this this week uh to get this done so this one is a no go all right guys we're on another call here a no cool call trying to find our unit Nice. Somebody left us a capacitor. Thinking it's going to be this one here. Fastest way to check. Some of the guys always ask, I can't find which unit it is. They're all on. I said, what's well, the one that's not cooling? So use your probe to find out. I think it's gonna be this one. Got 104 degrees. So maybe our blower's not coming on. And this is gonna be it, Chris. Oh yeah. I can see the refrigerant line in there. It's starting to freeze over. So this is it. This is our unit, stay tuned, we'll see what we find. All right guys, we got it opened up, just like I suspected. Uh, we got a blower that's not coming on. I don't feel it hot, so we're not on thermal lockout, but I do smell, I do smell it like it's been overheating. I'm gonna start troubleshooting here. It looks like somebody replaced his blower motor. Left all these wires everywhere. I guess uh, some sub ties went in a herded. But uh, I'm going to get into this uh, troubleshooting here. So I'm going to start with the relay, the fan relay, and see what we can come up with. So stay tuned. All right, guys. Um, this is going to be a three-phase unit. But I got a single-phase motor, which is common. So what we're going to do is I tested it. I do got 208 going to the motor. So I think we, this motor that was installed, it wasn't installed by our company. They must have had another company out here, uh, went bad. So I'm gonna talk to the customer, um, see if we can uh, replace this uh, blower motor on this old unit. Really as old as this unit is, I'm also gonna give them a quote to replace this entire unit. 
but for now they need they need ac so i'm gonna try to see what i can do just to uh, get them up and going with a new blower motor so they can have some ac it's about 105 degrees out here in fresno and about 120 up on this roof where my uh, phone keeps overheating so my videos keep cutting in and out so sorry about that guys little tip here when you put in a new motor especially for this setup here we got a swirl cage and the belly band make sure you guys are taking this off that's for a different setup a different type of installation make sure you guys take this off the old motor I found the old one on there banging around so it must have been making a racket you must take this off you guys don't forget, don't forget that all right guys we're gonna wire this in clean that uh, swirl cage a little bit with my wire brush and wire this back in All right, guys, I got the, my rotation going the right way. We check for amp draws, everything's good. Got my screws back on, my swirl housing. Got these wires zipped down, everything's good. We're gonna go ahead and reassemble this, check for refrigerant levels, make sure everything's good and make sure it's cooling. All right, guys, got it all in. Got it all wired in. Everything's cooling. Got all our trash uh, picked up here. We're just cooking up here. It is hot down here. Check our temperature. We got 62. We're going to go down to 61 on our supply. So we're in about an 18 degree split, which is not too bad. Seeing how it needs a severe maintenance. But this one, guys. All right, guys, uh, we work on the tablet system where it's a wireless, I mean, paperless uh, system. Actually, it's pretty neat. So we don't have to do uh, manual paperwork, which I think uh, is great. I just sent in the invoice for this uh, blower motor we just got done doing. Uh, got done, took me about a minute or two to do my paperwork on the tablet, send it in, send the invoice into the office. So we're good to go. We already have a job waiting. Um, gonna go ahead and hit that we're accepting the job and and that we're gonna be headed. Right, thank you. We're gonna be headed in route. And there's gonna be our next job. We got our GPS on. We're gonna be checking in with the office that uh, we're in route that way, which they already know electronically, but we're gonna let them know verbally, just in case they're not paying attention to their screen. Office, you copy? And of course, we got nervous Chris riding with me today. Office, I'm gonna go ahead and be en route to North Palm. All right, guys, uh, stay tuned for the next call. All right, guys, here we're on another no cool call. I uh, got here, uh, talked to the resident, said the nothing's coming on on the unit. Check the breaker before we got up here. Always check your breaker, guys. When you go to the thermostat, you turn fan on or you don't hear anything, check your breaker before you get on the roof. Might save you a trip, you know, having to go back down, reset the breaker. Find, come to find out you don't have power so i did reset the breaker popped it again right away so i shut my thermostats off reset the breaker again got up here and started doing a visual inspection um, right away my first thing i'm i'm looking at is the compressor disconnected the compressor and i did find on one of the pins there you can see the pin 
that's got an arc mark. So I uh, ohmed it out, found that I'm shorted to ground. So my winding is shorted to ground, unplugged the compressor, left it unplugged, I can run it. Now the fan and everything else turns on, I'm gonna leave it power on, at least it can use the fan. I'm not sure how much help that's gonna be. So we got a back compressor uh, due to the age of this unit. Uh, I'm gonna recommend an uh, entire uh, replacement. So this one is a thumbs down, not able to repair. Well, not that we're not able to repair it, but it's just not worth repairing. And off to the next one. All right, guys, we're back on another uh, cool, no cool. I just got done talking to the homeowner. I checked the indoor unit split system. Everything on the inside filter, everything looks good. So we're coming out here. I think this is gonna be our unit right here. <clears throat> couldn't uh, couldn't record inside because, of course, the customer was in there, and I'm gonna respect their privacy. Huh? Okay, we're gonna gauge up to this and see what we got. All right, guys, we're all gauge up to it. Looks like we're gonna be we've got extremely dirty coils. And we're probably going to be low on refrigerant once we're done uh, cleaning out these coils. These coils are real caked up. So we're going to be, like I said, low on refrigerant. We're going to go ahead and pull this apart so we can get it all cleaned out. Chris, uh, we're done with the refrigerant tank. Go ahead and take that back. All right, guys. This one is a wrap. Washed out the condenser coils. We're extremely caked up. Uh, washed it out, took the door panel off, washed it out from in to out, and then from outside to wash all the garbage off to the outside of the, of the coils and uh, we're good to go we checked the capacitors everything's within range looks like the capacitor was uh, recently changed out i put new shutter uh, caps on there and our line here is nice and cold right now we checked inside we got a 20 degree uh, split so this one is good to go